You have been given the power to become the child of God. Each one of you. You are a child of God. And now, these people God saved the way you are saved. They received the baptism of the Holy Spirit just like many of you have received the baptism of the Holy Spirit. They were walking in the grace of God just like many of you are walking in the grace of God. They tasted of the goodness of the Lord. And they tasted of the spiritual blessings. They walked with God. They would commune with God in tongues. They could commune with God and just fellowship with God and hear his voice. But then, slowly, some people crept into the, into the church and began to tell them that, look, if you are born again and you, have not, you are not following the Mosaic commandments, you are not a Christian. And some of the commandments were things to do with circumcision. Like, if you are a Christian... And you, um, and let's say you come from a tribe and, uh, or a people group that do not circumcise, they say then you are not born, born again. They said you must be circumcised. And they also said so many things like if a woman was in her menstrual cycle, she was not supposed to appear in, in the house of worship. They brought in so many, so many regulations. They said so many things like if you are a child born out of wedlock, you are not supposed to even to appear in the church. If you are, you know, they, they brought the law that barred people from coming where God was. They became adherents of the law and gave up the righteousness that comes by faith. They now began to seek righteousness that comes by the observance of the law which is not right that is not how God wants us to be he wants us to walk by faith look at this if you are walking by faith and you are hearing the voice of God the Holy Spirit will give you discernment and tell you what you want to do is wrong true or false so the Holy Spirit will keep you from punishment. The Holy Spirit will keep you from the breaking of the law. Look at, for example, students in school, those students who are disciplined. Do they get what self-discipline? Do they get disciplined? No. If the, the school says don't trespass, they are not found in trespassing. Don't, don't jump over the fence, they don't jump over the fence. There are students who have finished primary and high school without being disciplined. True or false? True. Why? Because not because there is a law, but because they have chosen to walk in virtues. So when we walk by faith, the righteousness that comes by faith, we don't break the law. So Moses brought the Ten Commandments and many other regulations, the Mosaic rules and, and traditions and everything. But Jesus came so that you and I, who are not Jewish, could also be called children of God. Amen. If we go back to the, to the Old Testament, none of you qualifies to be a Christian. None of you qualifies to become a child of? Because you are not Jewish. You are Tachon. You are Kalenjin. You are Jaruo. You don't qualify. Americans will not qualify. Greeks will not qualify. Arabs will not qualify. But in Christ Jesus, people from all tongues and nations and tribes and, and peoples become a family of God. Amen. There is no distinction by color. There is no distinction by race. We are all children of God. Amen. What a beautiful thing. So this is what each one of you needs to know. You need to understand that you are children of God. And so you don't have to go back into trying to follow legalism to be a Christian. Spiritual nourishment. Click on subscribe button below.
Click on the notification bell. You become the first to know when we upload another video.